My name is Gil Morgan. I am the director of the Encore Alert Network. And at Prosca 21, I was honored to present on how social media is shaping oncology and what its role will be in our future. This is something that is familiar to us from talking on WhatsApp to using Facebook to actively using Twitter. So whether you want to admit it or not, you're probably on social media. However, if used correctly, social media is something that can possibly impact your practice and your network. So here I gave the example of the Encore Alert Network, which despite being only two and a half years old, has become a network where our oncology society can interact with one another, communicate, and give their thoughts on everything oncology related, along with get up to the minute information on the newest data in our field. I promise you, this was not a lecture to boast about Encore Alert, but a way of telling people that with time, dedication, and the right engagement, anything is possible in social media. Your colleagues are out there and the conversations are being had. It is up to you if you wanna listen and it is up to you if you wanna lead those conversations. It's all off for the taking. So a quick wrap up of my take home messages are, you have to take the time to develop your brand. You can let people tell you who you are or you can take control and let them know who you are and what you're all about. This all starts by having a good personal statement that answers who you are, what you want, and what you are doing. What makes you different than everyone else? What can you provide to your colleagues that others can't? Study and engage your community. Don't start your social media experience by jumping into conversations. Take the time to see how people interact, what they are saying, and once you're sure that what you wanna say, start engaging. Know how to lead your community. Once you have learned how you want to interact, don't be shy. We're all just people, and it all starts by jumping in. Establish a solid network. Make sure that the people you include in your network are the people that you are going to strengthen and people who will strengthen your brand. Synergy is the best part of social media, so use it. Make sure that the content is quality and not quantity. Do not fire off 20 tweets a day. People will just tune you out. However, when you come out with something that you deem tweet worthy, you want people to listen. This happens by being there on the daily, being dependable, and always fact checking. Engage with your colleagues, ask questions, and what's more importantly, don't be afraid to answer questions, especially from patient advocates. Something could be quite simple for you to answer, but it could be something that people are losing sleep over for weeks. So you have a big chance to help here. Always use hashtags. These are the directions which allow users to find your tweets. If you have the wrong direction, your tweets will get lost. And remember that when using hashtags, one is good, two is better, three is too much. And finally, never forget the 80-20 rule. That is, although 20% of your tweets can be about yourself and amplifying your research, 80% has to be about someone else. No one wants to follow the person whose only focus is self-interest. So there you have it, folks. My presentation on Prosca 21 in a nutshell. Thanking you for your attention. And if you want to find more, do not hesitate to contact me on my personal account or on Goldert.